Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team and today I'm going to show you how you can add trees to your terrain in Unity 5. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now, as you can see, I'm still working with the same terrain we used on the last video. Again, remember that we are using the example project provided with Unity 5. This means I already have all the assets I need for this video in the project. However, if you are using a new project, you need to import the environment assets. To do that, you go to the main menu, Assets, Import Package and select Environment. This will import the assets you are going to need for this tutorial. Now, Unity 3D allows you to paint trees in your terrain just like you painted track textures. Unity uses billboarding trees for distant trees. This allows Unity to maintain a good rendering performance, allowing you to have dense forest with thousands of trees. To start painting trees, you select your terrain right here and on the inspector tab you go to the fifth button this one here so we click here and we'll open the trees options just like what happened with the textures on the last video initially you won't have any trees defined so in order to be able to paint trees we have to select some to do this click on edit trees button a small menu will pop up with three options right now you will you will only have one available add tree click here this will open this window now the engine will now ask you for the prefab of the tree you want to use click on the small circle in front of tree prefab and a new window will show up. Right here, the engine will show you all the prefabs you have on your project. So, right now, as you can see, we have several types of prefabs, let's call it that way. So, you have blue ones, for example, box pile, box, etc. And you have some that have a green icon with a tree painted. These are vegetation prefabs and these are the ones we are going to use in order to paint trees. So, for example, let's select the broadleaf desktop, double click. So, the broadleaf desktop is now selected for the tree prefab and we click on add. So, as you can see, the selected tree is now on the tree list in the inspector. Under settings, you will have several settings that you can change about the trees. Just like the previous tools for the terrain, you can set a brush size for the tree painting. You also have the tree density which defines the number of trees we will have painted in an area. Keep in mind that high values will mean more trees. So let's set it for example to 50. Next you have the tree height that you can set random just like it is right now where you set an interval of values and the tree will have a random height on this interval or you can simply go here deselect random and you can set a number for the tree for the height of the tree uh, please take note that if you do this all the trees will have the same height so if you want a more realistic look keep the random active and set an interval of heights Next, you can you have lock width to height. This basically means that 
uh, width will automatically be connected to the height you define. If you deselect this, you can set the tree width just like you did with the height with random, selecting an interval, or you can set a number for the width. Again, if you want to keep the, the trees realistic without looking all the same, keep random active and let's lock with the height as well. Next you have color variation. This parameter will allow you will allow your trees to have slightly color variations on the leaves for example. And finally, we have the last param parameter, random tree rotation. This allows you to turn tree rotation on or off. Now, in order to paint trees to the terrain, you move your mouse cursor to the scene view and the blue area represents the brush just like on the previous videos. With the tree selected, in this case we are going to use this one that you created just a few moments ago. We press the left mouse button and start creating trees. Now we have almost no trees because of the density we have selected. So if we want to get more trees, we simply go here, set for 80 for example, and now more trees will pop up as we paint it. Okay? So this is one type of tree, however you can have several types of trees in the same terrain. To add more types, you simply go to edit trees. You can add a new tree, again let's search for another type of tree, for example conifer desktop, double click, add, and right now we have other type of tree, so click conifer desktop and here you have it. We can still add some palm trees, for example. Let's again add tree. If we go to the bottom, we'll have palm desktop. We double click, add, and now we have palm desktop. With this one selected, we move the camera a little bit further, and here we go. We have some palm trees for our beach. Okay, so basically this is how you paint trees on the terrain. Now, for example, let's pretend you want to delete trees from a certain area. Let's move the camera a little bit closer. So, wait, just one moment. Ah, okay, so, ah, the camera moved away. So, let's move closer, 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 a little bit more, okay, you're done. So, let's pretend you want to delete some of these trees. You just go to the brush size, let's shrink, shrink it a little bit. Now, to delete a tree, to delete trees from a certain area, you hold the shift button, and now, with the left mouse button, you will delete the trees in that area. Now, to show you something, if you do this, you will delete every tree. Now, you don't want, for example, to delete... Uh, let's just say you just want to delete palm trees, okay? So, if you, for accident, touch the other trees while holding shift, you'll be erased as well. So, if you want to delete just the palm trees, you click on CTRL and while holding CTRL, you press the left button mouse and key 
with the palm tree selected on the tree list. So holding control, you clear the area and as you can see my graphic card seems to be with some problems. Uh, as you can see this will only clear the palm trees. The others will be stay will stay in the same place. Now you can always change and add trees by clicking for example here you can for example edit the prefab of a tree so okay you can change the prefab to whatever you want or you can simply remove and this will delete all the trees in this case all the palm, palm trees you have so let's add palm tree again here it is add Okay, so um, next you have uh, on the terrain collider a parameter called enable tree colliders. By default, this value is on, and what this does is it will create colliders for each tree. So, for example, if you have uh, a character walking around uh, the trees and you have this parameter on the character will collide with the trees otherwise if you deselect it what will happen is that the trees will have no colliders basically this means that your character will be able to go through the trees just like they weren't there so this could be beneficial if the character don't go on the tree area so you don't have to have colliders for the trees in, the, in that cases but if you want to for example the character to walk around the forest leave this on otherwise you'll go through the trees finally uh, we have a button here called mass place trees so what is this if you click here a new window will pop up. Basically what this does is you define the number of trees you want to set in your terrain. Meaning that Unity will automatically um, place the trees in the terrain and you can select keeping the existing ones so the ones you already have painted in the terrain or you simply can delete them. Let's keep the existing trees and select place. So as you can see we now have a huge huge forest in our terrain. Now if you want to create a really really dense forest go ahead and use this but I honestly don't like it very much because for example let me show you that area there yeah for example here so you have this mountain and boom you have a tree right on the top it looks so it's not realistic so if you want to use this you basically have to have to be careful with the final result because we'll have to work on the details later uh, I honestly prefer to paint all the trees but that is just me uh, you simply choose the method you that fits you better uh, okay guys so this concludes our video on painting trees on the next video we'll show you how you can add grass in your terrain until then have a nice day